Hi guys. Look at the snow out there. It's piling up. Oh no. We're gonna be buried. I want to talk to you today about this idea of soulmates and <laughs> here's the spoiler I don't believe in them. Um, I do believe that people can be you know more compatible with each other depending on their personality type and their you know upbringing and the way they relate to people and things like that. Oh, my dogs of course make noise. Um, but I don't believe in soulmates. Um, I don't think that you can randomly run into one person that is going to perfectly mesh with you for your whole life. Um, you know, um, maybe I'm jaded and disillusioned after 20 years of a relationship with my husband, but I don't think that there is, you know, in the you know, uh, like traditional definition of soulmates. I don't think that there is, you know, a person that can complete you because I don't, you know, people are broken and I don't, I don't feel like one person can do everything for you. And, you know, there is a lot of talk about, you know, relationships and the perfect partner for us and, you know, finding someone for yourself and you know I did find someone for myself you know my husband like I said we've been together for 20 years and we have a good relationship but that relationship has not been without work it has not been without struggles um, it doesn't it's not always easy and you have to you know we had to sit down together and decide that well, it sounds like we had a business meeting, but we had to decide that we were in this relationship, you know, this marriage for life. And we had to work on things when they were hard, and sometimes we didn't work on them, and we tried to just ignore problems, but, you know, that doesn't work either. But anyway, this idea of soulmates, this idea that you can find a person that perfectly fits with you, that completely understands you, that can meet all your needs that you know you're gonna love for your whole life now you know I know that I will love my husband for my whole life does he perfectly complete me no that's not his job does he completely understand me definitely not and um, I don't completely understand me I can't expect another human, if I don't completely understand me, I can't expect another human to do that for me. It just doesn't work that way. And I think, I do notice, you know, in the younger generation, and I'm, I'm realizing that people are going to probably come for me in this whole viewpoint on soulmates, but I'm here to share my, uh, you know, my viewpoint on life and what I think. So here we go. But I do think that this younger generation, you know, people that are my age, I got married young. So people that are my age and a bit younger and in their 20s and, you know, maybe even older teenagers that are looking for a partner, I think they're looking for someone that they're going to have this you know, initial extremely strong connection. Not that that doesn't happen, you know, that did happen with my husband. I knew right away that he was going to be good for me. Um, but they're looking for this immediate intimate connection and that's really something that takes time. Now you can have a connection with a person that you're like, oh my goodness, I love this human. Um, you know, we get along so great together. We can talk about anything. We can do you know, we, it's just so easy and that's great. But that, you know, that deep intimate connection and that, you know, mature relationship, that takes time and that takes time of figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And that also takes conflict and it takes sitting and talking and having experiences together and seeing that person 
in all their different states of being, you know, seeing them angry and seeing them happy and seeing them excited and seeing them disappointed and sad and, you know, all the whole range of emotions and the idea that you could just meet a person and then everything is going to be, you know, they're your soulmate. And I've heard lots of people say that, like, I married my soulmate, I married, you know, I found my soulmate, all of these things, but then I find later, as soon as they have some issues in the relationship, and then they end that relationship because, oh, I must be wrong, it wasn't my soulmate. There has to be work in a relationship, unfortunately, and that is not romantic, and that is not lovely, and that is not fairy tale. but that is... The way it is you know life is hard and you go through lots of struggles and with your partner you have to go through those things together you have to decide that you are going to weather the storm together whether it you know even when it's hard and you know we made my husband and I had made a decision um, I don't know at what year in our marriage because when we first got married it was just you know super exciting and I was so young and you know I was just so ready to be a wife and a mama and but you know a few years into our marriage I mean we really said to each other that no matter what happens with of course a few exceptions of things that you know aren't a problem but other than like you know physical abuse and infidelity no matter what happens we are going to work it out because, you know, seeing the trend of marriages only lasting a few years and then one or both of the partners deciding that, well, you're not my soulmate, you're not perfect for me, so I'm going to move on to someone else or I'm going to be alone now. Um, that trend made me so sad and I didn't want that for myself. I didn't want that for my husband and I certainly didn't want it for my children. You know, my husband and I both come from families of divorce and it it's so so common. It's almost more common than having married parents at this point. But it is so hurtful and it's something that follows you forever, you know, coming from a broken family and I just didn't want that. So I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to ramble, but you guys seem to enjoy the rambling, so I just will just keep talking. But yeah, I, I don't believe in soulmates. I think that once you find a person that you appreciate, you know, once you find a partner that you think, okay, I can love this human and I can do, I can make a relationship with this human. Of course, they have to be on the same page too. They have to put in work, just like you have to put in work. And you can't just be doing everything to keep a relationship together while the other person just does whatever. But I think, I think, you know, the idea of marriage and partnership and soulmates has been romanticized to the point that as soon as you hit a rough patch or as soon as things get difficult people bail and that's super sad and I don't think that it was meant to be that way so if you're looking for a relationship and you've had a bunch of relationships and they haven't worked out for one reason or another we have to remember that relationships take lots of time to develop a bond together you know a lasting bond initially there's that like rush of excitement and hormones and happy chemicals and things that bond you to each other but to create that long lasting strong bond that takes time and it takes communication and it takes learning what your partner needs and not being so concerned always with your own needs and trying to fulfill what you need all the time you know it's important to take care of yourself but when you're in a relationship and you're talking about that you know that connection with your partner sometimes you have to adjust yourself <laughs> and sometimes you have to let go of some of the you know some of the ideals that you had of what this relationship was going to look like I know I had to do that because I thought oh yes I'm going to get married this man is going to take care of me, he's going to keep me safe, and he does take care of me and keep me safe, but I'm never going to be sad again, I'm never going to be lonely, I'm always going to have somebody. 
that just isn't reality. And to think that, you know, you're going to find your soulmate, you're going to find this perfect partner that completely understands you and fulfills all your needs, that's just going to end up disappointing you. And I can say that I love being married and I love my husband so desperately and I will love him for the rest of my life. But I can't put the expectation on another person that they're going to fulfill everything I need because he can't. And I have to, you know, again, look to God to fulfill some of those needs. I have to look into myself to make sure those needs are even, um, that they're, I can't think of the word, <laughs> that they're even reasonable, that there's something that even can be fulfilled. You know, do you even ever feel completely happy? You know, life is not just always smooth sailing and sometimes it's hard and sometimes things hurt. And that doesn't mean that the partner that you have isn't right for you. So, yeah, I think I'm done talking about that. Um, please don't come for me in the comments. I'm a little concerned about that. But I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And, yeah, once again, I don't believe in soulmates. I believe relationships that are worth having are hard work. And um, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about what that hard work includes in a different video. But... Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Here's Editing Joy here, and I was watching it back, and I forgot to ask you guys what your um, opinion is on this topic, and let me know in the comments. Do you believe in soulmates? Um, how do you feel about my take on this? Um, <laughs> please be nice. Thanks, guys.